My name is Anatoly Soroporovs, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Ultra Horse. Our studio started at the peak of lockdown, and we really wanted to build a distributed game studio remote first. And we've been inspired by great, amazing titles, side-scroller games, and the games that we've built back in the past. We have quite a history of uh, using Unity. Uh, we've built many games uh, before that at, uh, at our previous uh, games company. So we built Guns of Boom before, which is a multiplayer shooter that reached over 50 million players before uh, any other game on mobile came in the FPS game genre. So for us, uh, building a Squad Blast with Unity was a no-brainer. We come from the age of side-scroller shooters. We wanted to reimagine that for the modern age of multiplayer shooters. And that's how we started. In the end, it's a run and gun, shoot em up, a class-based shooter game, and it's all on 2D plane as opposed to uh, all the 3D first-person shooters out there. So I think it's kind of fresh and feels old school at the same time. Why is the web so exciting out there? I think it's coming back to the roots. You know, all the online game portals of the uh, previous decade, they, 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 this is a place where the new games are born for the players, where you, you have the freedom to experiment, where you, you can update the games uh, five times a day. You don't have to go through approvals of the platforms. You can craft your own new business models and the whole open web just is a whole new opportunity. I feel like it's a new way to go to market. For us, going to the web was figuring out whether we can make a game for the web a little bit more different, whether, whether we can be more agile in development, whether we can roll out things quicker. I don't think we ended up compromising with too much. Uh, we just kept optimizing. We figured out that addressables are the way to figure out how to load the assets in a more lazy way. That means that you can get the, get some of the pictures in an asynchronous way. They will load a little bit later. And then we figured out how to introduce LOD, so level of detail. So first we load really small blurry images and gradually the, the load in better quality over time. So this is something that we didn't have to do on other platforms such as consoles where you, well, download gigabytes of content uh, before you play the game. But for mobile and for mobile web and for desktop web, we started doing those tricks and I think it lets you get into the game quicker. You can load the game faster. So in the end, it's a huge win for our players that they can get into the game in as little as five to 10 seconds, depending on the platform. Uh, when we came to mobile web and web, uh, it looks like it's a 2D game, so you think it's gonna be that simple, but 2D game has a lot of sprites, particles, animations, and large-sized backgrounds, and so many different parallax effects and intermission screens. For our game, we had to optimize and rethink a lot of things for uh, mobile web. Not just the texture formats, Maybe sometimes we had to decrease the sizes of things. Maybe sometimes we had to rethink the compression. So not a lot of sacrifice, but again, a lot of meticulous optimization, a lot of changes to the pipelines and a lot of uh, rethinking of how we're going to produce new content moving forward. So it's going to work across all platforms out there. It's been quite a journey as we have originally envisioned the game as a PC and console game. And we've built the Xbox version first. We realized that the game is quite accessible. So we've tried our best and we brought the game to mobile, which was a whole new endeavor. All of the efforts that we kept putting into the optimization of the game, uh, every single megabyte that we shaved off from the loading, uh, every single millisecond uh, that we improved the loading times, every single megabyte of RAM and video RAM, we got to the point that we realized that if it's on mobile, 
maybe we can just make another leap and uh, make another step and try to get it onto the web. And it was a very ambitious goal, you know, 4K, multi-gigabyte game, down to hundreds of megabytes to mobile, down to tens of megabytes on the web. We finally got there, first to the desktop web, and now with Unity 6 and all of the new tools that it's bringing, we are now live in mobile web.